It was a different state of mind A different state of mind Hey guys, it's Sarah. Today, me and Emma are doing a photo shoot with our friend. It's actually our first day of summer back from college. This was a very long shot last minute plan. And I'm very excited because the guy shooting us, we actually went to school with. He's two years younger than us, but we went to like middle school with him. He's my brother's age. He's so good at photography and I've taken pictures with him before. Not of me, but like just like with him. I've shot with him, but today he's taking photos of us and I am so excited. Oh, and by the way, I am by no means a model. If you're watching my videos for the first time, yes, I'm doing a photo shoot, but I am not a model by any means. I'm so fucking awkward behind camera. So I'm just really excited to get some nice photos and hang out with the war because he takes great photos I'm just so excited. I like literally just last minute decided I'm gonna vlog this I already worked out and showered this morning, which is why my hair looks wet I feel like it probably looks greasy, but I promise it's wet now I have my oatmeal and I'm just gonna start doing my makeup. Ooh, maybe I'll make my bed That looks really bright, but it turns out someone just bought something on our Poshmark So I am gonna go grab that just a little plug follow us on Poshmark because we do try to post stuff on there as often as possible. I think this video will go up after we add a bunch of stuff, but we probably, when you see this video, just added a bunch of stuff. Go look at our Poshmark, buy stuff if you want it. I'm gonna find the sweater. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna do my makeup. I think I'm just gonna do a time lapse. I'm not really gonna show what I'm using just cause it's not that crazy of a makeup routine. <laughs> I'm done doing my makeup and I just kept it pretty simple. Now I need to find an outfit. The look for this is pretty casual, so I'm not really gonna be going like all out, you know? I'm just gonna go get dressed and show you what I wear because I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna wear. So far, this is the outfit I'm going with. But I have these Urban Outfitters chunky hoops. This is a Brandy Melville shirt. This is from Romway. I'm probably not gonna wear it in every photo. I just thought it looked the best to wear like over this shirt just in case it's a little chilly out. These pants are thrifted, which they're also guys' pants, which is why the zipper is weirdly long. And then shoes are vans. And then Emma's is Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. And Superga. What is that? Superga? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. So, I don't know if any of you guys noticed in the outfit of the weeks, but me and Emma have an anklet on. We both do, oh, and we do got it. them. Do it. Just pull the plug. I can't. I literally can't. I've had this on for over three. No. Yeah, over three and a half years. years. It was sophomore year, so. <laughs> No, oh. I don't want to. That's it. We're probably gonna go pick up a war soon and then go Wait, shoot I don't at a tennis know how court. I about this freaking shirt. We're going to pick up a war now and take photos, obviously. A war is here. Uh, Emma's driving, but we're going to Washington Park or whatever. There's like okay, tennis courts. It's right by the Rose Garden. It looks great. And I'm really excited. I feel fucking honored that you're shooting us, though. I'm so excited. Uh, I feel honored that you guys are gonna like shoot with me. Wow, honestly. I, um, I have a cough drop in my mouth. I just realized that. That was probably annoying. Sick? No, it's oh thank you. Oh, yeah, when do we shoot with Jane? I don't even remember when that was. Oh, Jane's gone. Oh, oh yeah. That's so sad. I mean she's I gonna be back. Like, Shout out to yeah. Jane if you're watching this. I don't know if you watch my videos. <laughs> he went to middle school with us. Uh, so he has a ghost story. He's gonna tell it now. Or a couple. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I love any ghost story. Oh, my freshman year I was babysitting for this family and like uh -oh. Their house is just so sus. Like they're sort of like family friends, uh, and they, my sister, she, when she babysat before them, it's oh, so popular. Like, have to, like cut this. <laughs> so my sister used to babysit for them when she was also in high school, and so like she told me she always had like weird experiences there. Like yeah. one time she was like, "Oh yeah, I definitely heard someone like laughing out the side of the window," and I'm like, "Why are oh, you telling this to me?" Uh, basically, what ended up happening is so I babysat for them a few times. So like I would have weird experiences like babysitting at their house, like little things would move. Like I would set down the kids' toy. Like there's two, there's two kids. I would sit down like the toy, and then like I'd come back, and it was just like gone, but they were upstairs watching TV, and they, I didn't hear them come down or something like that. And so then one night, I'm like, I'm just taking some selfies in the mirror, because, you know, narcissistic oh, yeah. like no, that. Me. So then I hear the kids, I don't know why, they like, every time you put them to bed, like, an hour later, like, clockwork, like, you'll hear one of them, like, making noises or, like, kicking the wall or something. So I hear one of them, like, making noise in his room. And so I go upstairs, and I'm holding my phone. And you know on iPhones, you can, like, snap a photo? Yeah. So, like, I think I accidentally hit the volume button and snapped a photo when I was going to his room. I go to him. 
he was acting all weird. I put him back to bed. I go downstairs, I'm taking more Snapchats and crap, and I get a storage warning. So I go to my camera roll to delete photos, and I look at my camera roll, and I see the weirdest photo. I wonder Do you if I still have it? it? Oh, Ooh, I want to see that. Let me look at my Google photo. Let me backtrack. I didn't know Photoshop at this point, and people like accused me of Photoshopping it, and it became this whole big thing amongst like my friend group and like at my school. Um, but this is the photo I got. And no! Do you see the bigger? Oh, I hate that. I hate that so oh! much. <laughs> I would have booked it crazy. the fuck out of so, there. So I was walking to the door, and I don't know how you. How do I snap a photo? This story doesn't sound believable but I did oh. and there's just like this figure like this weird little yeah like, I'll show see, the picture on the yeah, screen you see the feet and like you kind of see like a ball for the head what fuck what no I can like see the legs that's yeah. so oh, crazy yeah, that was okay it's like almost midnight right now and I'm editing this video and this is freaking me out I hate this I'm scared now I didn't tell the mom I my sister used to babysit there and I didn't show her the photo either because like she would have accused me of photoshopping because like right. I would accuse me like I mean, yeah. yeah. Photographer. So I told everyone at my school. Not everyone at my school. I told a lot of kids in my grade. <laughs> yeah, in my theology class, which like those of you who don't know, I go to a kind of religious school, and so like we learn about like how, like everything like extraordinary, oh, extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how to explain it. So I tell my theology teacher, and she freaks out. She like flips. In our entire class period, which should have been gone to like quiz prep or like test prep went to talking about this ghost story and then she opens the door and in the hallway the Jesus poster on her wall oh, no. is tilted. No! Wait, wait, what? what? That's crazy. What? At my school, I'm still like talking to people in my grade and they're like, oh my God, you're that kid of that one story. And I'm like, it's been like three years now. Holy shit. I don't know if we've said this in a video before. But I don't think we have. This is gonna sound like the stupidest thing ever. So basically we took photography. I it was our senior year, right? Senior and year. And keep in mind, we have a dark room at our school, which not a lot of schools have, and it takes here. place there. I'm so superstitious, and I have a ghost app, and I literally spend money on that. It's supposed to be like a little radar that shows ghosts. And like, honestly, I don't really buy it most of the time, but except for this one time at school, and it was so crazy. So we have a dark room, and then there's like the dark, dark room where you, you go to roll your film. These three girls, I think, were in there, and the light fun. just somehow turned on even though they weren't at that end of the yeah. dark dark and room. in a dark room you are not allowed to do yeah the you're not supposed on. to turn it ruins the your on. film like you're not allowed to expose your film to light that somehow got turned on so me and riley went in there with the ghost app and we had a lockdown it was a drill but basically that means everyone's in their classrooms no one's wandering around the hall and i think someone before us heard weird like voices in there the same girls it was the ones who had the lights turned on they also heard weird noises just like weird like faint like yelling screaming yeah. but not like it just didn't sound like it would be in a school yeah you know? but it was like, a lockdown drill so there shouldn't yeah. have been anyone like especially during a lockdown so me and riley go in with the ghost app and at first we just kind of listen and then all of a sudden me and riley hear like oh it almost sounds like a deep like wailing noise and this was still during the lockdown so like nobody was there nobody was in the hall like nobody could have been around us making a noise like that so we literally scream and run out of there it was so terrifying we went in later with the ghost app again so basically it shows a little radar with like dots that show ghosts which might be fake whatever but it also has a little part where it like pops up with words and it popped up with the word marie which is the name of our art teacher which is in the classroom literally right next to the Are dark room yeah what? that's so okay I would... oh wait and it that's popped it. up with matt too right i think it popped yeah, up with popped either up matthew, with matthew or, matthew or, matt. or matt. matt and that is our photography teacher's name and we <laughs> flipped our shit we were freaking out like we didn't say their names not like my microphone could have heard us say their name or something so that was just like crazy to us That's honestly like that. really it, but we were just telling our teacher about it and he was just oh, like, that's that crazy. Up, like, but I don't know if anyone else has had an experience like that in the dark room since, but it was scary. I feel like this is a really long clip. I should probably put the camera down. I'll check in with you guys when we're taking photos, probably. We're at the Rose Garden, so pretty right now. It's really crowded. <laughs> There's a lot of people. But yeah. We're gonna shoot now. I only shoot in raw. It's so much easier to edit. The majority of my memory cards are like super slow. So, mm. like, I have a mustard stain, so if that like comes <laughs> up, I just want to that I feel like it looks so awkward when it's not like an actual photo. 
so I completely forgot I'm vlogging. I feel like it's been a couple hours since I filmed, but we came to the tea bar and drank our entire drink. <laughs> yep, there's a little bit left in his, but sorry, it's really loud in here. We just dropped, or not dropped off, but we were in the Pearl District with Amar. His sister lives there, so he stayed there, and now we're driving home. It's currently four o'clock, so it's rush hour, and there's really bad traffic. We're gonna go to the grocery store, because I think we're making dinner. And go home. But now we need to go move all the stuff just sitting in the middle of the floor outside of our room because there's so much stuff just like for college that we don't really need while we're at home. So we're gonna probably just go home and clean that up. Just relax for the rest of the day probably. But yeah, I had so much fun with Awar. I'm so excited to see the pictures. All right, I'm home now and I've been home for like 40 minutes at this point. My cousin is coming over right now with their new puppy. I'll vlog once she gets here and I'm so excited to meet him. Oh my God. Oh my god, he's so big! Hi! He's almost four months. Four months? Oh my god. Run around, sniffing at his butt. Oh! It's tail touches It's so long. Oh my, god. oh my god. And for the rest of the night, we just had dinner and caught up on some Bachelor, but that is pretty much it. I probably just sat in bed and like watched YouTube or something for the rest of the night. So yeah, that wasn't very interesting to vlog. So I didn't vlog that. But anyways, I've said it so many times already, but go follow War, follow us on Instagram as well if you want to see the photos. And yeah.